Hello guys, today we are going to learn how to use the interpolate function in Excel. But in Excel, there is not a function called interpolate in default in Excel. But there is only a function called forecast linear. And what it does is, it takes only one value of x. Let's say 4.5 and it takes only two rows for y and only two rows for x to the interpolation meanwhile if you need all this data for interpolation there is not an inbuilt function in excel so what we do is we so what we do is we install an add-in these are called the excel add-ins so that we get a function called interpolate in excel so let's begin first what you do is i have put a file named add in interpolate in the link in the description so you can download it i have already put it in the text uh, so you can download it in the text so this is the file so let's open excel then you can go to the tab at the button which is the developer tab click on excel add-ins and uh, click on browse and the uh, dialog box will appear uh, which shows the default location for the excel add-ins so you can know the location for these excel add-ins but you have that file in desktop so what you do is you first cancel it you have this add-in file in the desktop so if you put in the desktop or any other locations you may have the problem of misplacing it so that these add-in will not work in excel anymore so the better way is to copy it just copy it and again go to excel add-ins from the developer tab and click on browse and this is the default location so what you do is you paste the file over here Now this will go to the default location for the Excel add-in so that there is no chance of misplacing or deleting it. So click on OK. So it will appear in this dialog box and ensure that this box is checked in. And press on OK. Now what is done is the add-in is installed in this Excel sheet. So when you press the function name interpolate will appear in the intelligence list so at that id now i have already coded the coding for the function called interpolate which interpolates linearly and there is also a function named interpolate double which is used in double interpolation so whenever i close this file and again open the excel file as you can see it will always be installed every time you open the Excel sheet. For example, if I press enter, it will appear in the intelligence list. So you have already installed the add-in file. Now I will show you how to use that function. So to describe how the function works, I have already created a file in Excel, which is also given in the link in the description below. So I open this file. Now let's look how the function works we go to the formula and press equals and uh, press enter OLED and it will already appear in the intelligence list so click on it and to be clear about the syntax of this function you can just click on the FX button at the top just click on it now for single interpolation just look at these two columns so that it will be easier for you to understand so I'm going to interpolate a value, let's say between 4 and 5, let's say 4.5 as the x value. And it says the input value for x range. x range, that means it includes every element in x. So this will be our x range, just drag it and it will appear on the list. For y range, this is the value for y range. Now just click on OK. So after you click OK, what will be the result? Let's see what the interpolated result is. 
We have interpolated the value between 4 and 5, that's 4.5, so the values should come between 28 and 35. So, which is 31.5, that's okay. Now, let's see how to use the double interpolation function. Press equals and type interpolate. From the interlinks list, the interpolate double function already appears. Click on it. To make the syntax easier, click on the fx button here. And you need to be clear about what the x values and y values are. Just remember a coordinate axis such that the x axis is always the horizontal axis and y axis is always the vertical axis. So let's say we have to interpolate a value of x, let's say within 8 and 9, let's say the value is 8.5. And for y value, let's say a value between 4 and 5 let's say it's 4.5 and for x y you need to input all the table values or all the x and y values from this initial point so just select all the values over here and press enter so the value is 18 meanwhile to check the answer let's see we have interpolated a value for 8.5 that is it should lie within these two range and 4.5 it should lie within this range so the value that we obtain that is 18 should lie within this range so it's okay so this is how we use the function now you have known how to use this function let's see how it works let's see how it works so instead of putting the formula what I do is instead of putting the value 4.5 I put this value so that I can enter this value later on and just press enter and for this double interpolation formula instead of keeping 8.5 what I do is I keep the x value as this value and instead of 4.5 what I do is I put this as the injury value and press enter now to compare the result of team let's see this chart let's only look the yellow curve or the yellow data for the single interpolation and let's forget all the data so let's change this value 14 into somewhere between 4 and 5 let's enter this value as 4.5 press enter it will give us 31.5 and let's see the chart whenever the value is 4.5 the yellow curve is 31.5 let's see the data here the 30 the data 31.5 should lie within 28 and 35 so it works so let's see this data to 1 1 so it should give the value of 13 so press enter yes it gives the value of 13 you can see this graph over here and whenever i press this as 12 and press enter it should give the value of 112 at last so you may question what happens when the value we entered is not in this range let's see the range is between 1 to 12 and we enter the value of suppose say 14 and press enter what it will do is it interpolates the value from this to this or it creates a linear line between these two values and instead of interpolating it will extrapolate linearly and same is the value when we put the value of 0 which is less than 1 press enter it will give us the value of 9 again let's see how the double interpolation function works I have used the color code for your easiness so this is gray color and we need to input some value from this list in this gray color and this brown color we need to input some value in this range in this color so let's say we are double interpolating the value for 7 press 7 and uh, we are going to interpolate the value for let's say 12 so we put here 12 
and press enter you will give us 48 as this value so from the chart also you can see that the value should lie within this blue range so the graph will go to this blue value let's uh, take this value as somewhere between 8 and 9 let's say 8.5 and let's see this value as between 6 and 7 or let's say 6.5 and press enter so what you can see is the interpolated value should come within 8 and 9 that means red and green Okay. So you see from the graph also the value should be, the value also lies between the red and the green line. So it's okay. Meanwhile, if you see the values over here, it, that's 8.5 should lie between 8 and 9, and the value 6.5 should lie between 6 and 7. So the results should lie within this range. So it works. And in case of double interpolation also. If the input value let's say the range is from 10 to 7 and if we press the value 6 and the range is from 1 to 12 and if we press 13 it extrapolates the value over there so I have already kept this file to make you understand how this function works so thanks for watching